I specify this in light of the fact that before the finish of this piece, numerous screw users will break out the pitchforks and blame me for being on Team Green's fight nights. It's not genuine. This first ride can be summed up along these lines, if I manufactured myself a standard cruiser, it would look and act like a Kawasaki Z900RS. The bicycle left me extremely inspired. I needed to discover enormous defects. I searched for them. Not having the capacity to condemn an item you're checking on enough to seem legitimate for the infernets, so far as should be obvious, is a quite awesome issue to have. The Z900RS isn't care for the Z900. This isn't a Worm Dover repeat, that is for damn beyond any doubt. Casing, wheels, motor, transmission adapting, front light, debilitate, gadgets, brakes, and suspension all changed in remarkable and important ways. How about we begin with the skeleton? The edge is diverse probably on the grounds that the Z900 sky scratching tail section doesn't generally jive with the possibility of a surfboard situate return bicycle. At 58.1 inches, the RS is likewise a touch longer than the Z9, the motor has been modified to give somewhat less power and torque with an end goal to move the bicycle's energy counterclockwise on the tack. Pressure proportion was thumped back a bit from the Z900. 11.8 to 1, diminished by one full point. I can't trust a 10.8 to 1 CR now as a low proportion. Man, I feel old, lest ye be tricked, know this, the Z900RS still inhales some fire. It's a close leader, 948cc, inline 4 chamber. Care must be worked out. The fumes likewise include smaller ports and a similar exertion of utilizing the motor's muscle ideal from sit without moving. The fumes is a genuine bit of work. Header channels are clean, welded, and clean once more, looking considerably more pleasant than anticipated, they nearly take after a decent reseller's exchange setup. Further, they are pipe and side pipe. So there is an air hole that implies that the substantial gold staining that accompanies stainless channels is absent on these. It additionally implies they can be kept slick by a picture cognizant proprietor. Koi says this is their first fumes they've made because of fumes acoustic research, which astounded me incredibly. In the event that that is valid, their brisk investigations over yonder at Team Green, since the spicycle sounds flawless. Furthermore, for all the fuddy-duddies out there who moan about the absence of four channels like a first gen Z1 or Z900, take note of that this looks one serious parcel like an old Kirker. And after that we get to the little stuff. Footing control, LED fog light, front out spread mount calipers, gently cast wheels, clickers for pressure damping in the front fork, and a contrastingly formed fuel tank would all be able to be found on the Z900RS. Note as well, this bicycle comes in two variations, one is $10,999, and one $11,199. Note that the distinction here goes a bit past the paint work. Wheels are dark on the dark bicycle, however darker paint additionally nets wheels with a clean lip and a few spokes clean, which are somewhat reminiscent of an old arrangement of Lester Mags. In my estimation, Koi hosed themselves enabling this current bicycle's moniker to be so near its Z900 stablemate. They're passingly comparative, and that is about all. I really think the RS name harms it here. On another note, I'll never know why they continued referencing the Z1 when a genuine Z900 additionally existed. I don't comprehend retro and legacy, I presume. Whatever. A rose by some other name, I assume.